it's David again from Real Hard Reviews. And today I actually wanna do a quick studio tour for 2021. So over the past little while, I've been trying to figure out what to do with this room and how to set it up properly for not only filming videos, but also working as an office space and also uh, somewhat of a gaming den with a TV. So this is what I came up with. So let's just jump in here to this. My basically my computing den area. So. I built this desk using the classic IKEA uh, desk with the carbol top or the countertop on top and the uh, actual leg stand here and the actual drawer. I went with a single drawer instead of the dual, mainly because I wanted to fit my printer in here. And for what it's worth, I really do like this setup. It's clean. I don't have to worry about the table getting scratched ever again because this is actually pretty solid compared to other Ikea desks that I have had before. And it also gave me the ability to add anything I want on here pretty easily. And on the side over here, I actually added my computer, which is the Thermaltake P3 case, which is wall mounted using a TV stand in the back. Really nifty setup. It really helps you know elevate the computer up and not worry about utilizing desk space to have it on the actual desk. So that's a cool system. I really do like that. And just over here for, you know, stuff that I have on the desk, I have my HyperX mechanical keyboard and the, uh, also a Corsair mouse pad RGB. I had this for a while now, really cool, a little excessive, but I do like it. Also, I forgot to mention as well, the monitors I have currently set up here. It's a triple monitor set up here. And I have a high refresh rate monitor from MSI here in the middle. It's a 1440p monitor with 165 hertz. Really great for, you know, uh, fast competitive games and so forth. And then I have two basic monitors on the side, which is one is a Dell, which is a 1440p monitor, which is really great for, you know, color reproduction and so forth. And then I just have a basic 24 inch monitor here, which is a 1080p monitor. Great stuff, really like it. I like having a triple pane or triple system monitor here, mainly because I just like to separate my tasks more than having you know, an ultra wide around this. And the ability also of these monitors is that they're on arms, so hydraulic arms, so I can move them up and down pretty easily and pretty quickly, really, which is really nice. Um, and you don't have to contend about having wires and having stands there on the bottom. They're just basically floating on the desk and you, you claim so much of your actual workspace if you mount them against the wall or something in those lines. I really do recommend them. These, I'll link them as well in the description below. These are hydraulic arms from Amazon. They're like 20 bucks each, not even that terribly expensive and it gives you so much flexibility with your desk as well. And don't worry, I will also link all the products that I use in the description below for you guys to check out if you're interested for that. But as far as my main PC goes for, you know, specs, uh, it's not the highest end right now, but it's really good for what it's worth. Um, it's a 6950X i7 uh, 10 core CPU and a 2070 in there as well with a thousand watt power supply with 64 gigs of RAM, with a little bit of RGB here and there. Um, but overall, the setup and this desk has been fairly, fairly good with me. I did some cable management here and there. It's not terrible but not good well you know I'll, I'll make it up for that and overall i really do like this desk setup for you know gaming office work and so forth really nice for what it's worth now let's move on to this little area which i consider basically the gaming den area and this tv i bought recently over the christmas holidays and it's been splendid i really do like this tv for what it's worth it's amazing it's an actual lg oled bx 55 inch tv the colors on this thing is amazing and it's i don't know like it's oled i really love it and also the ability to connect with a high refresh rate source like hdmi 2.1 and playing next gen consoles on here will be amazing and not only that i can connect it to my pc with g-sync and i get 4k 120 hertz off of it pretty easily even though my 2070 over there does not support 4k 120 hertz on hdmi 2.0 uh, whenever I upgrade my graphics card, I'll you know be able to play 120 hertz on 4K. Now let me just show you something cool with this TV, and it's just the how thin this thing can be. It's ridiculous, right? Like it's almost you can break it. I did attach some uh, RGB strips here as well, so it looks cool when you turn it on. You get to see a little bit of the RGB in the background. But this TV is. <sighs> If you can get, if you can afford OLED, do it. 
you're not gonna regret it. And as far as burning and all that, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, you know, it's just the nature of the thing, but they have tons of technology built in, so OLED burning is not an issue. I'll do a full review on this TV later on. It really does deserve that. And over here is basically just a couch where I can just chill, play some games. Uh, I have my switch connect on the bottom here, as you can see. So it's a great little sit play area. So you can, you know, when you're tired of your office work, you just sit down, play some games and so forth. Now, here comes my like YouTube studio setup. I really do love this setup and I got to give credit to credit to and you know, the guy from the SLR video, Caleb, He's the one who pretty much showed me how to build this setup. You know, I've watched all his videos and this is what I came up with. And what I really love about this setup, it's the mobility aspect of it. Now, if I move this desk over, you'll see that this whole setup is actually on wheels. Now, as you can see here, that this entire setup is just basically one giant light stand. And this light stand is heavy duty. Like this thing is hard to knock down. It's almost impossible to really think about it. But the ability of this stand gives me the options to move it around wherever I like and create new studio spaces in my office. So I can just drag it around and basically have it on the go and always have my setup on there as well. And as you can see, I got my actual microphone on here attached to it. And I have my little teleprompter that I built using materials I had at home. You know, it cost me only about 30 to 40 bucks to build. And it's an amazing little setup for me to utilize for my videos. Sometimes my videos are scripted, sometimes they're not. But it's a great ability to have that. And and the nice thing about this all is that I don't have to worry about things here in regards to setting up lights and everything. I just have it on a stand ready to go whenever I feel like it. And that's just amazing ability, really. And so if you can find a way to build this, do it because it really does change your mind or change your you know, aspect of filming because it's on wheels, it's easy to move around. You're not always trying to set up lights and everything else in between because you know, what really stops your creative aspect of this is like, oh, I gotta set up lights, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. It just hinders you from making videos sometimes if you're thinking about doing all that. But having this on a stand and a light pole is just, you know, game changing for me in that aspect really good stuff and i'll link everything i have on here i'll probably do a separate video of all the components that i have here like this is a flapjack light from newer costs very little not too much and i have second ones here too that i use to you know do fill lights and key lights and so forth and i also have an rgb light here a little light wand here that i use to do as a backlight as well if i need be but overall this is basically my uh, studio setup you know i have my desk there i put it on there and then it changes it around whenever I feel like and I can just you know put this and plop it anywhere around here and film whenever I feel like it but I just want to do a quick video tour of what's happening you know 2021 is gonna be a big year and there's gonna to be tons of new videos out there and then go forward with that so yeah this is David from Real Hard Reviews signing out